Okay. Sorry, I'm a little out of breath. We are on our way to the doctor's office <laughs> to get verification that I am using my CPAP, which I only use at night, so I don't know how they're going to know. But he can take my word for it, and he can listen to my... It's all about insurance. It's all about insurance. I asked the nurse, well, what is he supposed to do? She said, I have no idea. It's like, well, that's a lot of help. I think he just sends in a form. <laughs> oh, this is the other end of town. Used to be a lot more here, but... Oh. And this is it. This is our clinic that we go. There's one other one in town, but they use the Marysville Hospital, so. But we are not that far from Marysville, Kansas, so. Not half of them go there. I'm gonna need to put my mask on, and I'm not gonna take you inside, so. See you later. I am done. Done, done, done. Done. <laughs> I'm done with my appointment. We pretty much talked and tried to figure out what we were supposed to do. <laughs> anyway, I'll explain that later. I'm still trying to catch my breath. We're going to stop by the grocery store because tomorrow is our anniversary. And we've got a special dinner planned. We do not do candlelight because Joe likes to see his food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we were having a laugh about that earlier. And he's going to get, we're going to get uh, either a chocolate cream pie, a lemon meringue, or a coconut cream. Those are his favorites. And I love them too. I eat about anything. So, well, there you go. See if I can catch him going in this door. That's our superfoods. Or why more food down? Depends on what they want to call it. See, there's a little sign up there that says Why more food down? Superfoods. Oh. Being silly willy a little bit, but. This is one thing about this town that's unique, is the parking. We, they have parking on each side. This is a very wide street. They have parking on each side of the street and in the middle. And we're parked in the middle right now. So if you need to use both, if you need to go across the street to do something too, you just <laughs> park in the middle. <laughs> so... It's not as easy to show you right now, but you can see there's a truck parked there by us, and over there there's parking lot lines, or here there's parking. So, yeah, that's one of the unique things. But you don't see very many places that down there on the corner, I think that was one of the most active bars. Used to be a bakery. Well, no, I think it was at the bar there. There used to be well, I don't think it was there when I married Joe, but there used to be a pizza place, and everybody loved that pizza. Of course, they grew up with it. It was the only one in town. <laughs> so. Okay. I, this thing will, there. You can see that mural a little better. Okay. You want to take the camera and just kind of walk around the fence and show them that? Joe's going to be showing you this mural as he walks around here. This is the Great Plains Welsh Heritage Center. It's, we are now considered the Welsh capital of the Great Plains. It's a beautiful mural. It represents the trip from Wales across the ocean and 
across the plains and it's kind of a time stamp, I guess you could say. There are often several years there have been people from Wales come over to visit, to talk to uh, people here about what it's like in Wales and what in the history of Wales, they're usually pretty impressed, I, from what I understand, with the, what there is here. And there you can see a map of Wales. I have been hoping that sometime we will be able to go down here and get an appointment to just go in and interview and go through the interior part of it. With the COVID, it just hasn't happened. <laughs> <laughs> but there's that old single plow. But it just represents so much more than just the Great Plains it, and Wales. It represents a change from one way of life to a completely new way of life, even beyond the New England states and and the settling of our country to settling the interior of our country. So, I love that windmill. <laughs> and I love that, uh, that wind cage thing on there with that painting on it. <laughs> it just, I love this, I love the mural. Thank you, dear. There's the front of the building. This was actually built as a funeral home years back. But there's an established one here in town that's been here for a long time, so it just didn't really take hold. So now it's the Welsh Heritage Center. So they were glad the building was free and ready. Right? <laughs> Never mind. Ow. Now they have turned a couple of these buildings into apartments. Ow! I actually was inside a couple of them, or one of them, for a Bible study one time. This, okay, exactly what was this a long time ago? Chicken eggplant. eggplant. Yeah, people would get jobs down here candling eggs or packaging eggs but it the building has stood really firm but and there is the new well it's the old nursing home but it's been taken over by somebody new called the hope it's just called hope assisted living <laughs> this station here just closed down about 10 years ago he moved out on the highway. He more or less just does tires, I think. That and oil changes. Oil changes, yeah. Some minor car repairs. Does anybody use this anymore? Marshall's old I coin. Know, that pickup's been sitting here like that for a while. I don't know. I got half an ocean to see where you want to set it. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. You wanted to see where it is. Yeah, let's go see. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, that one isn't as tall as the one we're getting, I don't think. The one we're getting is nine feet. Yeah, that's the huh. point. So I don't know. Well, they showed a picture of a pickup in it. Well, that's just a white pickup. That's a big pickup. We'll see. We are getting a tent type garage. That's kind of our anniversary and birthday. The reason being, <laughs> our wildcats. 
people adopt them, feed them a little bit, and then they take off again. <laughs> they used to, we had, there was an old theater here in town, movie theater, and they were just bunches of them living in there, breeding in there, and there was this old guy that fed them, I think, but they kept a lot of the mice and rats and stuff down. So when they had to tear the theater down, they just kind of started running down, running the town. But they still keep the mice and rats down. <laughs> Which is important when you're a rural community. Oh. Our anniversary is tomorrow, and then in October we have our birthdays. So this is our gift to each other for for that, because <laughs> we have a shed, but we don't really have a garage. So we're home again. <laughs>